Hello Mountaineer fans and welcome into another installment of Talking About Preseason. Today we are joined by two captains of the 2015-16 Southern Vermont College women's basketball team from left to right, senior Amber Flagg and junior Amber Dow. Ladies, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. No problem. Obviously with the two Ambers, I'm going to refer to you guys by your last names if you don't mind. Flagg, how has the preseason been going so far in your eyes? Uh, I think the preseason has has gone fairly well. I feel like with uh, Bob's workouts being incorporated, we were able to get more like variety in our preseason and not just scrimmaging every day. We were able to get strength and conditioning and you know be, be doing different things that we've done in the past that now that the season has started, um, I can see that the workouts have definitely been beneficial for us right now. Dow, has there been one or two players on this team who have really raised the eyebrows of her teammates and the others during the preseason training? I want to say Kayla Emmy. She was doing softball and basketball, so she'd go to softball workouts and she'd come and work out with us. And she came in not being the most skillful player, but she has, like, she comes in all the time and puts in extra work. So, and you can see that it's helping. Flag, what has been, what has the team been doing differently from those in the years past to get better every day? Well, um, what I particularly noticed was that I see more girls coming in and working on their game individually than in the past, which shows that, you know, girls are really taking it seriously. And I see it surprisingly in the, in the lower classmen more than the upper classmen. And you would think that, you know, with being freshmen and sophomores, they may not be, for lack of a better term, mature enough to understand that it's important to work on your game. You would think that it's the upper classmen who's like, you know, last year or I only have one more later year left and let me you know try to get in the gym but it's been like the freshmen like sophomores like getting in the gym and, and that's that's the first time I've really seen it since I've been here. Dow, where do you see this team right now and when do you think it's going to be where you and your coaches really want it to be? I think that we're like about where we left off last year yeah. so like we started off like way better than I think any of us really expected us to. Um, hopefully this week <laughs> we get where we need to be, but Saturday's game will be the real test. So hopefully before Curry. Mm -hmm. Flag, how did your playoff run last year affect your preseason training this year? Well, I feel like last year we got farther than we expected. We got farther than anybody expected us to get. And, you know, we fell in the championship, but I feel like, you know, we, we're not finished. I feel like we, we still need, we have something to accomplish, we have something to work for. And I think that by keeping that in mind during the preseason, that, that drives us to work harder because of our unfinished business that we have. Dow, what is the team going to have to do in order to be successful? Communication. That's like been our biggest problem and for us to come together, like right now we're still trying to figure out where everyone's going to be, who's going to cut where, who's going to do what, and I think that if we just have solid communication that we're going to be unstoppable. Focus. 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 Mm -hmm. Flag, how do you define successful when it comes to this team? Is it if you guys have another winning record and make it back into the playoffs, do you need to get back to the championship? How would you define at the end of the year if this team is successful or not? Well, I don't think I would really define success as winning every single game because, you know, I would consider us to be one of the top seeds in the conference, meaning that we're better than a lot of teams in the conference. So it's just like, how are you being successful beating teams that you're supposed to beat? You know what I'm saying? I would define success as being able to finally put together all the pieces that we've been working on since September and all go through all through the season and then if we're finally able to put all that together I would define that as success because then we would have successful turnouts. Dow, what can the Mountaineer fans expect to see out of the team this year? Faster pace, a more exciting game. We're pressing mm -hmm. and we can actually successfully press this year which is something that we haven't been able to do. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I add something? Um, I also think in addition to what, what Amber said, 
we're, we're being more in transition this year. I feel like we're able to run with each other. We're, we're finally picking up the concept of, okay, when a point guard or when somebody gets the ball, you need to have trailers so that we can just push it up the floor and beat the other team down the floor, which would result in a faster pace game. Like it. Flag, it's your senior season. What are you most looking forward to during the year? And is there a game or two that are really marked on your calendar? You know, those are the ones that you really have started and you just cannot wait for. Well, honestly, as far as it being my senior season, um, I honestly, I want to have fun. This is my last season. Yes, I want to be successful, but I have a tendency to be really hard on myself, and I don't want to have all this pressure my senior year. I want to have fun, but I also want to win games and be successful, too. Uh, but uh, the games that I'm like really looking forward to this year, um, I'm looking forward to the Curry Tournament. I'm looking forward to when we play Regis because I feel like they're on our list. And um, when we make it to the playoffs and when we make it to the semifinals and when we make it to the championship, those are the games that I'm looking forward to the most. Dale, yeah, last question. You guys open up the season on Saturday. You have three more days to prepare. How prepared do you think this team is right now? Um, I think that we can go in there and definitely come out with a win. I think that when we played them last year, we were nowhere near mm -hmm. where we are now, mm -hmm. and we only beat them by five. And they, they pretty much have the same team, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to win. That's it. <laughs> there you go. You heard it here first, Mountaineer fans. Once again, the women's basketball team opens up the regular season on Saturday, November 14th at Linden State College. That tip-off scheduled for 2 p.m. SVC then opens up the New England Collegiate Conference schedule on December 1st at Bay Path, and their home opener is scheduled for December 3rd when they welcome Becker College to the Mountaineer Athletic Center for a 6 p.m. tip-off. And then SVC holds Senior Day on February 20th at 1 p.m. when they host Regis College. It's going to be a big one, so make sure you got your calendars marked. We hope to see you there. If you can't make it, check out the online schedule for the video broadcast links. And don't forget to check out svcathletics.com for more information on the women's basketball team. Ladies, thank you for joining us today. Good luck with your season. Thank you, Mike. Hey, Mountaineer fans, and welcome back into Women's Basketball's Talking About Preseason. I am now joined by seventh-year head coach Mike Quinn. Coach, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. My pleasure. Let's start off with how we think the preseason has been going so far. What are your thoughts about it? I think that the, uh, the best way I can categorize the preseason so far is up and down. Um, we were not playing together for six months. We're getting used to one another again. We're getting used to the additions we've had to the team. But we're on the right track, and I'm happy with what I'm seeing so far. Now, what did it mean to you to go to the postseason for the first time in program history last year and not only get there, but to win two playoff games and make it all the way to the conference championship? Sometimes I, I find that hard to describe because um, the expectations were not great for us. And somewhere around the seventh or eighth game last year, there was a change in the team. And um, everything that came out of last year, they deserved. They put in an awful lot of hard work. They listened. They stayed mentally tough, most particularly in the Elms game, the semifinal game, because we had never beaten Elms before. And we were within eight points of winning the championship. And um, the returning players won it this year. Now kind of going off of that, how do you think that run affected this year's team mentally and physically both for those returning players and also for the newcomers that are coming in? Well for the returning players we've already had a conversation. For a very long time Southern Vermont College was the hunter. Now we're the hunted and um, that makes it different of how they mentally approach the game.
we're getting there, and we're understanding what that means, and we're understanding what it is to be a winning program, and I think we'll be all right. Where do you see this team right now, and at what point during the season do you think it's going to be where you ideally want them to be? That's a great question. Um, where we are right now, I'd say we're probably 75% of the way there. And again, it has to do with some changes to the squad, because um, we have a group that are used to playing with one another, and then we have these other new ones that we're trying to fit in. And they're doing a good job transitioning. They really are. Um, when do I think we'll be at our peak? I'm hoping that uh, by December, when we start conference play, we start peaking. If you had to identify one obstacle that you think is going to be the biggest challenge for this team, what would you say that is, and how is this team going to overcome that? The biggest challenge for this team will be every time we play a game, the other team's going to want to beat us. I believe we have the talent to compete physically, hence where the change has got to be is the mental toughness of the team. Um, that will get us through um, this transition that the program is going through to being a winning program versus just being there. What are you most looking forward to this year? I want my seniors to have a championship. Um, their first year, they won three games. And they've worked awfully hard over the last four years. And so I think what I'm looking forward to most is for them to enjoy a championship. And I think that's where I, I know that's where all of my effort is going. Not just for the seniors, everybody, but most particularly the seniors. Last question, how ready is this team for your season opener on Saturday? You know you're asking a coach that question, right? <laughs> um, do I think we're ready to compete? Yes. Do I think we're at our optimum? No. So I think that's the best answer I can give. We're ready to compete on Saturday and we'll, we'll be competing on Saturday. There we go. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Coach, thanks again for joining us. Once again, the Mountaineers open up the regular season this Saturday when they head up to Linden State College for a 2 p.m. tip-off. You'll be able to find more information, including post-game news and notes, on svcathletics.com. Coach, thanks once again for joining us today, and good luck this season. Thank you.